can finish all it. Wow. <laughs> Gentle, juicy. And then you can drink water. Can she drink water again? Mm -hmm. Are you swallowing any? <laughs> Ooh. She loves them. Mm. Okay, Juicy, last one. I did a little something something. I'm so excited. I do apologize for my disheveled look because I just finished working out, so I was excited. I want to open this up with you guys before I go and shower. Um, so I'm going to have my protein shake with y'all. Thanks to my girl, Heaven. She helped me finally make, like take the plunge to come on over to the Mac side. I have been like wanting a MacBook Pro for like, I don't know, so many years, probably since, I don't know, probably for 10 years or something. And I just never took the plunge because I was too scared, <laughs> too scared to, too scared to like um, go onto the Mac side. Also like they're super expensive. And so um, that was also obviously a factor. And then on top of that, I felt like if I got a Mac, does that mean I need to like get like an iPhone? You know, like all this stuff, been a Windows user my entire life. Heaven definitely made me feel a lot more comfortable. She just recently, um, I'll link her video <laughs> in the cards. So, uh, so thank you for inspiring me, Heaven. Um, she recently got a 16 inch MacBook Pro and uh, me and her have been talking back and forth about it. So um, finally, I just was like, okay, just, just do it. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I don't know if you guys know this, but um, what I use to edit my videos is actually a Windows desktop computer. I had that one for like six or seven years. I bought it because it has 16 gigabytes of RAM a lot of storage it had like a graphics card and all this other stuff but y'all i can't even tell you how often my video crashes juicy cut that out no hey a few moments later i can't tell you how many times my video stops like mid rendering or it take forever or like i have to just watch the video all blurry ever since i started with my current company i have been wanting to get like a laptop because when I go, when I used to go to Europe, I wanted to be able to edit my videos while I'm abroad since I'm there usually for two weeks. Um, but since I didn't, I only had a desktop and obviously I don't use my work computer for my YouTube stuff, um, I would just never be able to edit videos at the same time. So anyways, that's why I ended up getting, ooh, the 13 inch MacBook Pro and not the 16 inch. The 16, the 16 inch is better specs wise, but um, from a travel perspective, um, because I'm hoping eventually we'll get, I'll be able to travel again um, at some point in time. I really don't think this year, but uh, you know, for work. And then I'm going to get Apple Care for it, obviously. And um, I also use, ooh, wow, it has this little like tab thing. I was gonna use, I brought my scissors over here to open it up, but I don't need that because it has a little tab thing. And wow, okay. So when you buy a MacBook Pro, apparently you're buying an experience too when you're unwrapping it. That is really cool. I'm gonna sneeze. Here it is, the moment of truth. Open up, cutie. I wanna actually send this to heaven um, because she really helped me make my decision. So, you know, I love that um, through YouTube, I've gotten to like meet and become friends with some of y'all. <laughs> hey, oh, how cute. So there's a little tab. Oh, how smart. Ew. Feels pretty substantial. Can you help me? There's something wrong with my computer. There's an apple and it's bit off of. You know where that's from? I need to be extra careful with it because I don't want to drop it or anything. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to like mess with anything. Does it look tiny compared to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's not touch screen, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> to use English oh. as the main language, press the return key. Okay, thank you. Oh, they have Netherlands. Okay, so you don't tap the track. You actually have to like press it. Uh, 
you know, on my Windows laptop, all I do is tap. I don't actually have to press. Yes, baby, hold on. Can I please do this? This is an exciting day, babe. All right, press the escape key to hear how to set up your MacBook with a voiceover. Accessibility options. In screen reader called voiceover. If you know how to see, this thing is coming in handy. Not only for guests, but for me. I don't have an Apple ID. I'm gonna have to get used to touching because I just tapped, you know, thinking that I could just tap, but I gotta press. Um, hmm. Happy Friday, so today is, I haven't even changed my little calendar thing for a couple of days, wow. Sorry, today is May 15th, it is Friday, it's lunchtime right now, and I'm actually about to get on to my very first Coaching with Steffi call, so I'm really excited with um, Chelsea, and she's the very first one of y'all who I'm doing like a one-on-one -on -one coaching meeting with so I'm really excited I'm nervous too but at the same time like you know I'm gonna treat it as if I am just with like someone in real life and who's like one of my mentees or something like that I wanted to give y'all a little update on how the home gym is looking. So, as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit of my equipment in. So, Mike put together this um, adjustable bench. So, most of everything I've gotten from Titan Fitness. And I'll do a whole, like, home gym tour later. I have to get something to put on the wall so that, you know, all the bands and different things aren't just laying on the ground. This is the Titan Fitness lat pull-down tower. And it's plate-loaded. So it came pretty well packaged. Everything was kind of like taped down in there. Good amount of padding and everything. So we'll be interested to see how it is when Mike starts to put this together. I've seen some reviews online that, you know, parts can be missing from the shipments and stuff like that. So I'm hoping. Loves it. Like this. To be honest, um, there was a lot going on. I think I had mentioned it in my last um, 
my last vlog. Just wasn't in the mood to like vlog or be, you know, you know what I mean? I, I'm sure y'all understand. It, it's been a kind of a pretty stressful month or so. Uh, obviously, I think, you know, obviously we are all going through something and we all have our challenges that we're dealing with. So, um, needless to say, I, I had some and so I wasn't feeling like vlogging, but I am feeling better, feeling more like myself again. Um, and so I figured I would just go ahead and start updating you guys on stuff that's going on. I feel like I'm going to be home working for a while. I am getting my office finally put together and prepped and you know, I've been meaning to do it and this is like the best time. So one of the things that we've been meaning to do, this credenza, it used to be in our dining room at the old house. We moved our dresser upstairs into future baby's room. I'm not pregnant, y'all are just saying like, whenever we have a baby, that's future baby's room. <laughs> and so the dresser's up there because it has a lot of sentimental value. I think I told you that story. When Mike and I moved in, we moved in very quickly together um, after dating. Back then, we obviously did not have a lot of money. Mike was the only one who was like working full time and he invited me to move in with him. He at the time was living, like renting a room from a friend's house and his room was very small. Um, and it just, you know, it w worked for him, but it there wasn't like space for me and my stuff and whatever. Um, and I didn't even, even ask for any of this. He just like went and was like, let's go and find a dresser so that, you know, there'd be space for me to bring my stuff in. Um, he gave me space in the closet and everything. So anyways, the dresser that we got, even though we found it in the clearance section at Ashley Home Furniture, um, you know, it's, it's a great dresser and it just holds a lot of sentimental value. So I feel like I'd like to keep that for our future kids. Um, you know, just use it as like a dresser, maybe like as a changing table too in their room and whatever else just kind of you know just trying to keep it in the family because it's a very special piece of furniture just a lot of sentimental value in it anyways so we have been using this credenza as our like dresser it's not working um obviously it's a credenza you know what i mean like it's, there's no drawers longest time trying to find a dresser that i think would fit kind of the aesthetic that we're going for in this room. And so I think I found it from Living Spaces. They actually delivered it. It's sitting out on the patio right now because your girl can't carry that whole thing in here. But I'm gonna prepare this stuff so that when Mike comes home, we can easily move this to my office, move that in here. doing a follow-up audit and one of the um, areas that we're looking at are so I understand there was a initiative uh, kicked off at the end of the month so from there I selected it so I'll ping you the number so if you could share your screen and sh um, just kind of walk us through what happened was any of that taken into account that makes sense so what kind of communications were provided to you guys? Do you approach those differently? Okay. Excuse my really terrible <laughs> garage lighting. Um, we're, we're gonna put a strip up here, like an LED strip, but that hasn't happened yet. Today I'm gonna be working shoulders, and of course I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio as I warm up, so I'll show you guys what I do. I'm first gonna do a little bit of a warm up with some dynamic stretching, and then after that do my like little cardio that I do with my jump rope. I, I had a headache all day yesterday and today, so, and this morning, but it's gone away, so it's gonna work out. Let's see how this goes. We are, we are dreaming in the dark. We are nothing more than dust. Search, but you stay lost. We are. Should say. 
Does that feel nice, my love? So my parents bought me a bunch of mangoes. So this has been just a daily snack of mine and I'm obsessed, y'all. So I just cut up a mango and then sprinkle tahini on there. It's just so dang yummy. And realized she's right here too. Hi, cutie. She's just my little Velcro. I'm so grateful for this time because we get to spend time together. We get to hang out and I love that. Girlfriend, you gotta get it right. Girlfriend, you gotta learn to fight. Girlfriend, you gotta get it right. Keep your eyes on the prize. Girlfriend, you gotta get it right. You gotta want it with all your might. Girlfriend, you gotta learn to fight. I know you're gonna be alright. You wanna make Hey. 